Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. It's a special. Um, today should be Wednesday if I did the, the videos in correct order. But as you can see, I'm still recording this on November 1st. Defaultio did extend it for just a little bit, so I do have a chance of getting a uh, end times tree this year. But we gotta go look. Uh, and because it's got the uh, the Halloween effects going on, I'm not going to be able to see off in the distance, which means we've got to run to all the different locations and check to see if any trees are end times trees or sinister trees. And if you didn't know, there are two different kinds of trees. There is a sinister tree and an end times tree, and that's what we are going to be searching for right now. Let's go. So let's go straight across first. We're gonna we're gonna check the little up area over here. And yes, I am doing this in a different order than I normally do it. And that's simply because I want to. No other reason. And because there's no leaves on the trees, you've got to look to see the bark. The general shape and the bark of the tree are what's going to determine if it's a end times tree or not. Do, 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 do. It's going to be a little spooky because we have no music in the background. It plays a little bit different on Halloween. There we go. Test. There we go. Good, good, good. Ooh. Had a very, very easy day today, even though it was a Monday. Um, got lots of work done. In general, the the place that I work for, my boss is amazing. The job is amazing. And I, I really do just thoroughly enjoy my job. Um, for those of you who are asking, I've been working there for 11 years now. So my work anniversary was on November 1st, 11 years with the company. That is the longest I've worked for anyone. And I think it's amazing. So, oh gosh, this is going to be a problem because you can't tell if they're green or not. Oh, that makes it like impossible. Although most of the swamp trees, most of the uh, zombie trees, they're all kind of flat, spidery looking, aren't they? A spook tree and a sinister tree are very different looking. Whew. That makes it spooky. It's like crazy spooky. Makes it look like veins all throughout there. Oh, the swamp is a scary area in the first place but just in the Halloween special stuff oh it looks crazy Ooh, what is that what is that is that green I can't tell hold on give it a little swing that's green that's a swamp tree okay keep going keep going if it had been anything else, that wouldn't have happened. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's a that's a swamp tree. I can tell the the greeniness, the greenness of it. There we go. So, um, oh gosh, no, I'm stuck. If you're still feeling depressed, or if you're feeling down about COVID and friends and just being back in school and stuff like that, talk to someone. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. Talk. One of the worst things that is possible is holding emotions inside and not telling anyone about it. You might feel like you're, you're just complaining or you're putting your problems off on somebody else. That is not true. When it comes to something extremely emotional 
something that is physically affecting you, you need to talk to somebody about it. And there's some people out there who are like, well, no, let them deal with it in their own way. They'll come to you when it's time, blah, 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 blah. No, that's, that's poop. Don't, don't listen to those people. If you have a friend who needs to talk, or if they're seeming, seeming kind of standoffish, talk to them, help them. But don't take a, oh, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong as an answer. Like, dude, we can tell you're not your usual self. Talk. Get them to talk. And if at any time somebody says they feel like hurting themselves, you take it seriously. Okay? If, if somebody says... They're just tired of it. They're just done with the world. Little statements like that. Take it very seriously and ask them directly. Because somebody who's saying things like that, they are calling out for help. They are asking. You know, they're wanting someone to take notice. Even if you think, oh, they're just saying that to, to get attention. You're right. Even if it's in joking manner, even if it's take it very seriously because that one time that somebody's oh they're just asking for attention and it turns out they're not that's something you don't want to have on your conscience that's something that you don't want to have to live with <coughs> talk speak out speak to someone if it's you yourself Talk to a parent, talk to a friend, talk to a guardian, talk to someone. That is the that is the one thing that I mean, I know I joke around and I I speak on my channel in a very positive manner all the time. This is the one time that I'm very serious. And it can happen at any age. It can happen to adults. You can just get sad and depressed about things. And sometimes you don't even know that you're depressed. But if you find yourself not sleeping, or if you find yourself not having the energy to get up and go do something, to get up and do something, or to go to work, or to just be around people, if you find that the normal things of, of joy that bring you happiness aren't doing that, talk. Speak to someone. Don't hold it in. Anyhow, I will move on from the topic because we are still looking for spook trees and sinister trees, but I thought that I needed to say something because I've, I've noticed a lot, a lot of people are still just feeling very down. I was surprised at how many trick-or-treaters we had coming around this year. People are ready. They're ready to be out of lockdown, out of quarantine, done with the mask. And that's good. It's it's a good thing. But we're still a ways off. You know? And this is this has completely changed the way the world works. Because, I hate to say this, a lot of companies... They're starting to say, well, you need to come back into work. But we've proven that we don't need to be at work. We can all work remotely. Well, a lot of us can work remote. Now, granted, not every job can work remote. But teachers, teachers can work remote. Students, you can absolutely learn remotely. It may not be the most sociable aspect of the world. It may not be desirable in some cases, but it's very much doable. And it is possible. You know, there's a lot of people who are homeschooled all the time. And there's still some social aspects to it and stuff, but it just floors me that some employers are still 
very negative or very against remote working. I'm like, you got to change. The, that company has got to change because people are staying at home and even people who are looking for jobs now, some of them are looking for jobs and the the companies are like, well, you're going to be required to come in and blah, blah, blah. And nobody wants to do that. If the job is remotable, make it remote. It's one of my favorite things about my job. I, I'm a remote worker. <laughs> Which may seem counterintuitive and counterproductive because like, oh, you get to stay in front of your computer all day long? No, I, I've got a separate computer. You know, I've got one for work and I've got one for um, play. And technically, this is play. I mean, it's a job. It's YouTubering. But it's still something that I thoroughly enjoy. <sighs> so, it's a very w weird position that I have to say, yeah, I do YouTube videos for fun, you know? Not to make a living and not to provide for my family. It helps, you know? Every little bit helps, but... This year... My wife has started working. Kids have gone back to school, you know. And it's given us the freedom that if me and my wife want to go out and have uh, a lunch date, we can. Because we both work remote and it's like, hey, I'm going to coordinate the time that I finish this project and you do yours and we'll finish at the same time and let's go out and have lunch together. It's something that we didn't get to do for a long time. Or if we did, I'd have to uh, plan it very meticulously. Like, we'd have to have her drive the 30 minutes that it was to work, pick me up, and then we'd have one hour to go out, eat, get me back to the office, and then she'd have to drive all the way back. Oh, the, the volcano music isn't going. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I like the volcano with no music in it. Just out of curiosity, did anybody see if the, uh, oh gosh, if the green box is still there during, during Halloween? Maybe we should go get it. I think we should go get it. Hold on. Let's go back down have to remember where it is. It's either this one. Is it this one? No, we're going to go down one more. One more. There we go. We're going to turn on this one. Ready? And let's do rotate right here. Oh, gosh. Was that the right spot? That might not be the right spot. I don't think that's the right spot. <sighs> oh no. Don't go in there, God. It's the wrong spot. Whoa. Uh, there we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. One more, one more. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Whoa, skills. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Pack it up, pack it in. Oh. These boulders are moving. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Hold on, rotate here. Rotate here. There we go. There we go. Um, I think... Let's try this one. Do I need to go in through here? That's... Ooh, that's the right spot. There we go. Yay! Go me. Jump down. Jump down again. Hey, hey! Green box! 
Oh, the sound here. And technically it's white, but it's got a green light on it. Do you guys remember when I did this? When I actually ran the entire obby? Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's my, <laughs> that's my blueprint. Hold on, can I rotate that? Hold on, can I turn this? Hmm, cannot rotate nor turn. And I know that it's it's no collide to me, but is it colliding to nope. No collision on there either. So let's see. <clears throat> I should be able to use a large wall, smooth wall. Is that right? Let's try something here. Just for fun. Oh, is it not gonna stick to my head? Come on. I can just barely see. If it gets to the point where I can't, like my life is getting low, I'll go ahead and Turn. Oop. Mm, come on. This is awkward. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's going to be an awesome screenshot. <laughs> well, I I don't want to to die down here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it before the outro is over. So no spookwood this year. That sucks. We did get to to get some spookwood with the help of our friends, and that's what it comes down to: just playing with our friends, having fun, and enjoying ourselves. That's what Roblox is about: powering imagination and having fun. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon Two with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.